I'm going to make a really light and fluffy cheese originating in the area of Fontainebleau and that's where it gets its name from. It's a combination of egg whites, cream and yogurt. So not a traditional way of making cheese but it's fantastic served with fruit after a heavy main course. So I'll need a few bowls for this. In one bowl I'll measure out one cup of thickened cream. And then I'll whisk this until we get firm peaks. If your cream's really cold, it's going to whisk much faster. So there's a little tip there. Once it starts to thicken up, I'll add some caster sugar, half a cup of caster sugar. So this is a sweet cheese. And you'll see it start to thicken up quite quickly. That's what we're looking for. Now to make this really light, I'll add some yogurt. So this is Greek style yogurt. And then I'll take the whisk out and now just fold that in together. Now look at that consistency, light and fluffy. Now I'm using some Sunny Queen free range eggs. I just need two egg whites for this. So we'll separate that. We'll keep the yolks in another bowl. That's fantastic for mayonnaise, so don't throw them out. Great. Now I'll grab another whisk and I'm going to whisk this with a pinch of salt. These need to be stiff peaks. We need to get lots of air in the egg so it's light and fluffy. Right, perfectly whisked egg whites. And now I'm going to fold this into our cream and yogurt mixture. So just add one third of it and slowly fold it through. And you'll see it start to resemble clouds. Just perfect. Wonderful. Now I'm going to pour this into some muslin cloth. This needs to strain so it forms into a cheese. Now I gather the sides up just like this and then give it a twist and you can see I've got a strainer underneath it so it catches all of the liquid that will strain. And with an elastic we're just going to fasten that now this goes into the fridge for at least five hours or even better overnight until it firms up a bit. Fontaine Bleu has been in the fridge for a good five hours. Like I said, you can do this overnight to make it much easier. And now I'm just carefully just pulling away that muslin cloth. And you can see, ta-da, we've made cheese in a very unorthodox way by using the egg whites, but it works. It's a delicious sweet cheese. And the way that I like to serve it is just to get a spoon and get a generous dollop. We'll pop that in the center of a bowl. And then I like to garnish it with some strawberries. That is a lovely way to finish a dish. I can't wait to have a taste of this. Mm. That is so wonderful and delicate. It's got the texture of clouds and that slight sweetness in it. This is just a perfect dish, particularly with the strawberries. Yummo!